Hello, my name is Veer Animus of VA Games, and for this short episode of Flight School, I want to discuss a maneuver commonly referred to as the stall turn or the hammerhead turn. This maneuver is generally reserved for jets, but keen helicopter pilots can take advantage of its core principles to execute quick 180 degree turns while maintaining maximum airspeed. Please keep in mind that the numbers I'm going to give you in this video are for reference purposes only, and actual results may vary. Before we talk about the maneuver itself, I want to briefly go over the heads up display. In particular, you need to know how to read the altimeter and the artificial horizon. The altimeter is just a small green number in a box on the right side of the screen next to the tachometer that gives you the altitude or the height in an unspecified unit. For the purposes of this video, we will call that unit distance meters. When you drop below the radar threshold at 25 meters, the altimeter turns red to indicate that you're close to the ground. The artificial horizon is sometimes called the attitude indicator, and that shows the orientation of the aircraft relative to the horizon. It is a stack of graduated horizontal lines in the middle of the screen that indicates the helicopter's pitch as well as the roll. For pitch greater than or equal to zero, the horizontal bars are solid. For pitches less than zero, the horizontal bars are dashed. At zero degrees, you are parallel to the ground. Now that you understand more clearly what your instruments are and how to read them, let's get back into the stall turn. Initiate the turn by achieving maximum airspeed across the ground. Pitch up to about 30 degrees and climb about 45 meters. Release the throttle and yaw in the direction of your turn. Roll in the opposite direction of the turn and pitch back up to level out and engage the throttle. If you do the move correctly, you should be going in the opposite direction at the same speed and altitude from when you started. Once you get the stall turned down, you can do a modified version of it that I call the hockey stop turn. I demonstrated it in the previous tutorial regarding maneuverability. Essentially, you just perform a stall turn without changing altitude, you do the entire maneuver almost on your side, and you do it very quickly. The only real difference is that instead of just releasing the throttle, you actually hit the D throttle after you pitch up. The inspiration for the move is its namesake, skid stopping on skates and launching back in the opposite direction. While the stall turn has admittedly limited utility in games, the hockey stop turn is incredibly effective at shaking jets and returning to targets previously passed by a strafe. Of course, it is up to the pilot to determine how to make the best use of these maneuvers, so I'll leave that to you. And as always, thanks for watching.